Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going drugstore makeup shopping at Walmart. I stopped in Walmart the other day to look for some new like hygiene products and to my surprise, they had so much new drugstore makeup. Like literally everything, I guess it just takes them a little bit longer to kind of stock their shelves because at the beginning of the year I found like a ton at Ulta but pretty much everything now is at Walmart and even some new collections that I haven't seen before from like Physicians Formula, uh, Hard Candy has a bunch of new stuff out, and ELF has a brand new collection at Walmart, Wet n Wild, so like brand new, never before seen drugstore products. I'm so excited. So we're gonna go head to Walmart. I'm gonna show you guys everything that's new, and we're also gonna do a little bit of shopping, so let's head inside. Looks like Walmart has started putting out finally some new drugstore stuff. I've been waiting to see some of the new CoverGirl launches in store. So they do have the quads. Now, I did do a video on these. They actually don't have the smoky one that I tried, which I personally don't recommend it. Just didn't love the black that was in there. But the shimmering beige it seems okay for now. <laughs> I did like it okay. I need to try it one more time though. Or maybe it was, I think it was the golden toffee I tried. I think they're fine, but the price is so much better here. Oh my gosh, 10 bucks. I was going to say they're fine but not $14 but these are cheaper here at Walmart Walmart always has the best prices you guys try to get your makeup here because Ulta they always like upcharge so yeah $10 is much better than the 14 I was like not worth it but maybe for 10 I mean it's pretty decent so I'm really glad that they're only that much now it looks like maybe they're still putting some stuff out here this is only my first Walmart store, so they have two of the yummy glosses. Now, I love these, you guys. These are so good, although the colors are kind of similar on the lips, so I don't think you need all of them, but get them at Walmart. Only $8 here. They only have two shades right now, the coconuts and the flamingo pink, but I love these. Just make sure the lid's open because a couple of mine are defective, and I've heard other people having defective ones that won't open up either, so I had to return one of mine to Ulta. But yeah, this looks like the new CoverGirl stuff is finally here in stores. Okay, the next Walmart I went to was fully stocked with all of the colors of the Yummy Glosses. I have the You're Just Jelly, which is my favorite, but again, you really don't need a bunch of shades. I feel like one or two is good because they all look really similar, but excited to see the full stock of them here. So excited to see some new Physicians Formula here, you guys. I have been hearing some buzz about this. Uh, Butter Glow Liquid Bronzer. People have been comparing it a little bit to the Drunk Elephant that's been popping off thanks to Alex Earl. I might have to try it though. The Liquid Bronzer. People have been using it before foundation to bronze up or as a liquid contour. It is, well, are these all the same price? I'm guessing $13.48 for that. It also has a highlight too, the Butter Glow Highlight. This is their Diamond Setter Long Lasting Setting Spray. I know Physicians Formula is kind of up there in price. They did add the Strawberry Jam blush here. This used to be at Walgreens in like a fun collection. Isn't it so cute with the strawberries in there? I think it's supposed to smell like that too. And then they have a little bronzer palette, which looks nice. Like a highlight powder. They have this matte highlight powder and then a more cool tone and a darker warm bronze. And these look new too. We have a Butter Glow Radiance Boosting Glow Powder. That one is the translucent and this one is the natural glow. So a couple new things from Physicians Formula which actually look pretty, pretty nice. This is definitely new as well. They have a Butter Glow Concealer. There's only a few shades though. Um, but this is the medium to tan radiance boosting glow it says for 10 bucks. There's also a light to medium and then a fair to light. So they definitely need a deeper shade in there that's not really enough shades in my opinion. So I don't know, I feel like they've kind of struggled with their shade range for years. I mean, this is all the foundations they have. It's not great, so I'm probably gonna pass on the concealer. Profusion always has a new collection. I feel like when I go to Walmart, always something fun. I haven't seen anything for a couple months though. So this is their Duochromatica collection here. So we have a Metachrome 25 shade palette. It looks like a little CD kind of. Interesting. I actually have heard, I actually have heard great things about their shadows, but they just launched so much limited edition that I kind of get turned off a little bit. I mean, I really should try a couple things from them, maybe from their regular line. They have this cute Meta Lashes kit with a metallic kind of chrome liner. 
these techno liners, fun metallics again, three shades. And then these are little multi-chrome shifting pigments. How cool is that? Like drugstore multi-chromes? Okay. I don't love the packaging on them, but it seems like a really cool idea. And it even comes with a black pigment primer to place underneath because those will really pop over black. That's so cool. So, I mean, they, they did raise the price, I feel like, for this kit, $14.98. So they might be some like pretty good quality shadows. Uh, I know a lot of people have been wanting to see more duo chromes and multi chromes at the drugstore, so maybe I should maybe I should try this. I think I'm gonna give it a shot. It looks like this is also in the collection. I think it's supposed to go up here. I'll put it back for them. This is the glitter glitch holographic gems. It looks like a liquid eyeshadow. Oh wait, no, it's a brow gel. Brow gel and then some gems to put on. Interesting. Maybe fun for like festival season. But I think that's what they have new. Looking at Milani here. It looks like they finally got in the liquid contour. I ordered mine on Ulta, but now they are in stores as well. So I love these. I raved about them in my last video. Um, I think I used, did I use ginger? It's a little warm toned. I have toffee. I have the honey as well, but they are so good, you guys. So they're kind of mixed in with their like brighteners and their illuminators. Um, they're 10 bucks here, but oh my gosh, you have to try the liquid contour. It is so good, so blendable. One of my favorites. Pretty sure these are new too. I just got a package from Milani with these items in it. And it seems like either they haven't stocked everything or they did sell out, but I feel like this is so new, so I don't know. But their Luminoso collection is only here at Walmart with the new stuff of course they do have the like regular Luminoso blush in this collection which you can buy anytime but they have a little palette the Luminoso eyeshadow palette too I know they have a nice cover so I'll go ahead and show you guys this so cute I think I must have gotten this in my package so I need to try this out because I love these colors reminds me of the Natasha bronze palette a bit and it looks so good for $12.97 and then those lashes, I don't think are supposed to be there. That's the old collection. But I tried this out in my video, my last drugstore makeup video. And this makes such a pretty highlighter. It's called a liquid blush highlight. It's not quite a Charlotte Tilbury dupe or anything, but the color is stunning for a highlight. It doesn't really have much blush pigment though. Lots of shimmer though, it's so pretty. Hard Candy definitely has some new stuff here as well. Oh my goodness, they have a lot. This is their, let's see, they have these eye Def eyeshadow markers in. These are $5.97 for their eyeshadow markers. They have a bunch of different shades here. They're budge proof, crease resistant, 12 hour wear here. They sound kind of interesting. They also have a new glow primer, Luminous Serum. It's supposed to have subtle gold flecks in the formula, it says, but it looks kind of fun. And then they also have some glow sticks here, the Luminous Glow Stick Crystal Infused. Um, I thought these were bronzer sticks, but nope, they are like a little highlight stick. This is Champagne Breakfast. These are $8.94. And they also have 24K Rose. Now these look really good. They have luminous blush sticks. So I might have to try these, not sticks I should say, but they're like a liquid gel, like kind of like the Charlotte Tilbury, everyone's doing this packaging now. There's luminous blush, I might try it. Some of their stuff can be hit or miss, but I don't know, it looks pretty good. This pink, born yesterday. These are $7.94 by the way. This is Be Real. There's a fun purple one, and then they also have a gel bronzer so you know we have to try this out to find the best drugstore dupe I suppose in sweet tea so I might grab this one it looks very luminous though so I don't know if I would love it but I'm willing to try it I mean it's super affordable there is a darker shade in honey glaze as well so that looks really good and then look at these liners these lip liners look so cute I have to try one of these they're $5.97 I love the packaging here this is in perfect match I might grab that one too it looks like they have some nice colors. I know it's hard to tell. I do love a good contour lip shade too. This is Boyfriend. I just don't know if it's going to be too deep. These are collagen and hyaluronic acid infused. Here's a nice warm nude called Kiss and Tell. They have First Move and Once Bitten for the red. And then over here, they have these Insta Pout. These are instant plumping lip glosses as well. Pink Teddy. This shimmery one is Cakewalk. And then they have this milky nude called Girl Next Door. And there is some clear as well for plumping. And then there's the Max Pout, which looks maybe like a Too Faced kind of lip injection situation for $7.94.
You guys know I love their eyeshadows. Um, I just did a video using their Purpel and it's so good. But for some reason you can't find them online. I don't know why. I tried to look and they weren't available, but you can definitely find them in this store here. And they're only $3.98, which is super affordable. And I did add some new shades, like the Envy Green one I think is newer. But these are so, so good. I'm checking out Wet n Wild here. I'm trying to see if some of these are new. I haven't been keeping up with them lately. I feel like they've kind of taken a step back from the new launches. They used to have a bunch of stuff all the time. But these look new to me. These Shadow Silk Liquid Eyeshadows up to 16 hours in Lunar Beige. They have a bunch of different kind of neutral tones. I don't know if I'll pick one of these up. I haven't been wearing a lot of liquid shadows lately, but those are new here. They say they give dimension and depth with vitamin E. This also looks new from Wet n Wild. Their Essence Primer Plus Finish Powder. It smooths, conditions, refined pores. It does so much. I feel like I've heard of this one. Definitely don't remember seeing it here. It looks like it is 738. They also have this primer liquid, which is interesting. I don't know. It doesn't look like too good something that I would pick up, but it's okay. Also, why is the music so loud in here? I don't understand. They also have this waterproof eye and makeup like remover here too for $5.98. I also don't recall seeing these lip products, the Rose Comforting Lip Colors from Wet n Wild as well. It says Silky Smooth High Shine Buildable Color with Nourishing Benefits. These do look nice. I might have to try one. I'm all about the shiny lip products like the Tarte Plump, the Makeup by Mario. So I'm hoping this is kind of along those lines. I might try one. Now, Elf has some exciting stuff as well. I wanted to mention they did finally bring the Halo Glow in stores now. This hasn't been here, I don't think, yet. But it's finally at Walmart for $14. You guys know I love that stuff as well. Elf also has their Woe Glow sunscreen here at Walmart for $14. I have been really liking that. They also have the new Elf lipsticks here. We did see these at Target and Ulta for $9. The O-Face Satin Lipsticks. These are actually a really nice formula, and I saw some information from someone on TikTok. I know a lot of people are complaining about the price going to $9, but they have a magnetic closure, which is expensive to do. They have their name engraved on the lipstick, so it actually is a higher quality packaging and formula. They are really nice. I really like the one that I tried. And then they actually have this new collection to the Good Vibes Only. They always do a fun spring launch. And they have a new primer, the Soft Velvet Primer, which kind of sounds fun. I do love the packaging on this. It's pretty cute. 10 bucks for that. This is a cute little cleansing cloud. It's called Cloud 9. So just to kind of remove makeup, I believe. There is a little shroom lip balm as well. It looks like just a plain one. And there is some cute palettes in this collection. I'm kind of tempted. They have this one, which is Hey Sunshine. It has three mattes and a metallic kind of gold yellow. This is the Psychedelic Dreams one. Love these colors. That's so pretty. And then they also have a brush set. This is only at Walmart. It's supposed to be like 70s inspired, of course. But, oh, that looks so cute. I had to try a couple of things. Maybelline has their new powder here, which has gained some traction because of Michaela. I mean, she's been doing a lot of sponsored posts lately, so I don't know how accurate the review is with hers since, you know, mascara gate and all. But, I mean, it seems to be pretty full coverage. I did get this to try. Still need to try it out. It's $10.99 here, but it's kind of similar, I would feel like, to the L'Oreal one that went viral a couple years ago. But I will have to try it and see how it goes. It says it's a powder foundation with a matte finish. Uh, $10.99 again, lots of different shades in the line. Okay, now this is brand brand new here as well. I've never seen this and this was only at one store. I didn't see it at all of them yet. And you'll have to ignore the boxes in the background. I think they're still working on inventory. But they have a Relove by Makeup Revolution. <laughs> I don't know how you guys feel about that. I feel like they can be very iffy, but now they have a new line at Walmart, it seems. So there's a lot of stuff in this line. There's like different primers. It's completely different like packaging from their other stuff and completely new products that I haven't seen before. But yeah, they have a bunch of primers. There's like a Power Fix, a Matte, Pore Vanish, and Super Matte five bucks. Everything's really reasonably priced, of course. Little setting mist as well. We have some euphoric, it says. Lip toppers, little glosses, eyeshadows, this shadow palette. I don't know if this is like a limited collection. They have this euphoric one. 
They have a new foundation, the Super Serum Foundation as well, Hyaluronic Acid Infused for only $5. So, I mean, it is nice. The price is like really good because everything else has been going up, but it's nice that you could still get some stuff for five bucks and under. They have a bunch of different like brow pens, freckle pens, a soap brow tin, mascaras here. These are concealing and contour palettes. And then these are only three bucks, like contour highlight blush, little liquid eyeshadows for $2, and then some different shadow palettes. I don't know how I'm feeling about these. I mean, the palettes don't look that exciting to me. The blushes, I mean, it's nice. They have a blush and a highlighter in there for only $3. They have these super highlights, super bronzers. It's kind of hard to see way down here. They do have some more glosses on the bottom. Baby gloss it's called. They're little mini ones, which are really cute. And then these are some of their regular line, like the blur stick, banana powder, and then a couple regular eyeshadow palettes. So looks like this is gonna be hitting some different Walmarts here. Let me know your thoughts. I feel like I'm not intrigued quite yet with any of the products so I might pass on it for now the only thing I'd be kind of intrigued on is the foundation but I just I'm not always in love with Revolutions formula so I'm just not sure but I did want to let you guys know that it is here at Walmart now I guess their slogan is everything under five dollars looking over at L'Oreal they did repackage their true match foundation I've heard it was a little bit reformulated and some said not I don't know yet but they did change the packaging so it's actually a really nice bottle and they have tons of different Different shades here this is 10 bucks this one is still my fave from them the true match nude but I am gonna try this one out and see how it goes I did get this one still need to try it um, I just have so much new drugs for makeup to try there's been so many new launches early this year but yes I love the new packaging and they did get the new primers in as well we did see these at Ulta too but of course way cheaper here I think these were like $17 on Ulta I think but they have the matte setter, which I'm gonna try out, the pore minimizer, the redness, and the dullness as well, primers. And I'm surprised this hasn't sold out yet since, of course, this has been the talk of the beauty space, the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara, still in stock at my store for $11.87. I actually do like this one. I think it's actually a decent mascara, and I did get really good length with it, and they have a waterproof as well. Also, we have something new from Revlon, their new foundation. I've actually heard good things about this one. This is their skin caring foundation. It actually looks really good. It's $13.48 here, so one of the pricier ones, but I'm really excited to try it. I've just, everyone that I've seen try it seems to really like it, and it has a bunch of different shades as well, so I'm really excited to get into that one very soon and let you guys know how it is. These also seem new from Revlon. These are Vivid Matte lipsticks with a built-in primer, so they're supposed to be really colorful. Pigment packed, it says, or power packed. Wear for eight hours. There is a bunch of different shades here for $9.48. Let me know if these are new. I don't know if they are, but I feel like maybe, because I don't remember Uma Beauty having these cream blushes. They look exactly like the Tower 28 packaging. They're cream to powder, bronzer, and blushes here. So these are the bronzers, this is on point. And they remind me of the Tower 28 Luminous ones. This one, that's the same color. And they also have High Def. We have Certified Lover. This one's Obsessed. These are all $12, by the way. This one is Bougie AF. And then a gorgeous pink. This one is called Audacity. I might try one of these. I feel like these are newer to me. From NYX, they did get in their tinted brow glues here as well. I did review that one. I just prefer the clear, I think. But these are $8.97, and they do have different colors now that were new this year. As well as their vibrant liquid eyeliners here from the Vivid Brights line. They have a ton of different shades in these. Also $8.97. Okay guys, I'm back home. I found so much good stuff. I am just really excited about these finds here. So like, I feel like I've been hauling a lot of drugstore makeup. I've been doing a lot of videos, testing it out, but there's just more and more every week. And Walmart is seriously the jackpot right now, which is great because they also have the best prices. I'm just gonna do a little haul here. The first thing I grabbed was this new Physicians Formula Butter Glow Liquid Bronzer. Just cause this is something I have heard some buzz about. I Wanted to try it out, see if I like it. Um, I've been hearing it compared to the Drunk Elephant Debronzy Drops, which have been sold out for a while, so 
I wanted to see if it's similar or if I can give us a similar effect, but you can also use it as a liquid bronzer. The packaging is really nice on this one. So here is the swatch and let's blend this. It's really, really smooth. It's like a gel finish. It is a bit orange. I feel like Physicians Formula can run a little bit orange, so the color isn't quite spot on. I'm gonna have to try it on the face, but it does blend nice. It has that kind of similar coconutty scent that some of their other products have, but that is what it kind of looks like. It does have a little bit of a glow as well. So it could be definitely comparable to the D Bronzy Drops and give a similar effect. Just don't know if this color is going to be too orange, but I'm really excited to try it out. I also picked up from Uma Beauty by Sharon C. This is the cheaper line that's at Walmart, but they had these new cream blushes and they looked just like Tower 28, so I had to pick one up. Uh, they didn't have like a bright pink, but this was probably the most neutral I could find. So this is the Flawless in Real Life Blush in Audacity. And this one kind of has almost a nudie color to it, a nude rose. It, it feels quite nice on the skin. Definitely warm, but I'm really excited about the formula because it feels really good. I just wish I could find a prettier kind of pink rather than an orange like that. But we'll try it out and make it work. But so far, it seems nice. I also grabbed these two cheek products from Hard Candy. I really wanted to try out their liquid bronzer in Sweet Tea. Ooh, it's a wand. That's so cool. This has a lot of shimmer to it, you guys. I don't know if I'm going to like it. Oh, okay. Why is everything orange? Yikes. That color. Don't know if that's going to work for me. Here is a fun metallic pink blush we got called Born Yesterday. Very bright pink, but yeah, I'm really unsure about that contour. I'm going to have to try it out and see how it goes, but that color is definitely not a Charlotte Tilbury dupe, that is for sure. And then I also picked up one of their lip liners. I love the packaging on this. This looks so cute. Their Insta Pout lip liner with collagen and hyaluronic acid. I got the shade Perfect Match. This is what it looks like. And then it is just a really true nude. Very beigey, but it looks like a nice color that will go with so many of my different nude lipsticks and the formula feels really creamy. I got a couple things from Wet n Wild. I decided to pick up that powder. I was really intrigued. It's an essence primer plus finishing powder. It's supposed to smooth, condition, refine pores, balance, and then like help your makeup stay on. So. I figured I would just go ahead, pick it up, and try it out. And then I'm actually really impressed with this from Wet n Wild. This reminds me so much of the Makeup by Mario lip plumps, you guys. The packaging is literally the same, and it gives you this really pretty shiny effect. It's gorgeous. I just wish they had some better shades. I feel like sometimes they can struggle with their colors and some of their lip products. I picked up the shade Rose, the comforting lip color, but... How pretty is that? I'm really liking this formula. And then lastly, I picked up two of the new e.l.f. quads from their Good Vibes Only collection. This was just too cute not to get. So let's do some swatches here. This one is the Hey Sunshine. The matte swatch amazingly. That looks so good. I'm just unsure of how that shimmer is going to be because she's a little chunky. But I love these bright yellow tones. Oh my goodness, for summer, it's going to be so pretty. And then I also got this fun one. This one is Psychedelic Dreams. This one has two mattes and two shimmers. But I can't believe how soft these matte shades are. Oh, that shimmer is a lot better. Ooh, oh my gosh, you guys. <gasps> that is so pretty. I feel like those shimmers both swatched way better than the yellow. They're really smooth. And these are really affordable too. Oh, I'm so excited to try these on the eyes. Anyways, that is everything that I bought at Walmart for this trip. I have so much new drugstore makeup to try. I just feel like they're coming out with so many exciting new launches this year and the drugstore makeup is just getting better and better as they really are trying to compete and kind of dupe some of the high-end popular products on the market. If I can find any of this stuff online, I will try to link it for you, but some stuff might not be available on Walmart yet, but Ulta might have a few things as well. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I hope you guys love this video because I had so much fun filming it and I was just so excited to check out all the new stuff at Walmart. I do have an exciting hygiene video coming as well with Target and Walmart finds because there's just so much new stuff at the stores right now and you guys know me. I love to find all the new goodies. But I'm going to let you guys go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.